Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I wanted to take a look at the Kodak Zoom 8 Reflex Camera. Now, this is a movie camera from the early 1960s, and this is a monster. I mean, this, this camera, this movie camera, is the largest movie camera I have in my collection. It's, it's probably one of the largest uh, consumer movie cameras made. I mean, it is, it is huge. And as you can see, it is about five inches high. So this thing is big. And not only is it big in terms of size, this thing weighs a ton. I mean, it is heavy. It is very, very heavy. I don't know who could have uh, carried this around with them all day, but this thing is a monster. So let's take a look at this camera in more detail. So in addition to the camera, I also have the original box and the original instruction sheet right here, this little booklet. So let's go over the different parts of this massive, massive camera. So on the front here, you have the exposure meter. This is the exposure bar. This is the exposure control lock. This is the exposure scale. This is the film plane indicator. This is the zoom button, that's the winding key. This is the reflex finder. This is the film index indicator. And so all in all, this is a very, very nicely made camera. You know, it, it has a very nice uh, art deco design to it and that's what drew me to it that's why i decided to to purchase it i got this on ebay for you know i don't know less less than twenty dollars i think like twelve or fifteen dollars it was pretty inexpensive uh and it's in really really great condition uh, and as, as i said it came with the box and the instruction booklet so it was a really good deal so let's take a look at the other side of this camera so here we have a dial for telephoto and wide angle. And we, we also have the lock to open up the compartment for the film. Now I tried to open it, it just wouldn't open. I don't know if the lock is stuck or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I didn't want to force it because I didn't want to break it. But this uh, side of the camera has slightly less uh, mechanics than the other side, but it's still very interesting as, you, as it has that nice uh, circular telephoto wide angle uh, dial in black and silver. Now this whole camera is like a like a four FAUX or you know fake uh, black leather finish with aluminum uh, and it's it's just really really nice uh, and you can see the detailing around some of the circular parts of the camera. It's just really really nice. So let's take a look at the back of the camera. So on the back, you really don't have much except for the rear eyepiece and a plate with the name Kodak and Zoom 8 Reflex Camera Model 2 made in the USA. Oh, well, you don't see that uh, in too many cameras today. So let's take a look at the original box of this camera. Now the box of this camera really isn't in such great shape, but it's still it's still acceptable. It's still nice. Uh, on this side, on the long side, you have a graphic showing the side of the movie camera, and on the front of the box, you have the front of the movie camera. A, a nice graphic of that. Now, let's see what this says here. It says made in Rochester, New York, USA, by Eastman Kodak Company. Wow. How many cameras today are made in Rochester, New York? I, I doubt there are not many. Now, let's take a, another look back at that instruction booklet because there are some interesting things in there I'd like to show you. So here you see a picture of a woman holding this camera, taking a movie with it. Now, like I said, this camera is huge and it weighs a ton. And honestly, I don't know what woman would have wanted this camera? I mean, you can't, you can't put it in a, uh, 
uh, a pocketbook. Uh, and if you put it into a, uh, a handbag, it'll probably rip right through it. And like I said, this thing weighs a ton. I don't know what woman would want to carry this thing around. Maybe maybe there were those that did, but I don't think a camera like this was popular with women. Uh, that's just my opinion. And let's take a look at some more interesting uh, images in here. Here you have an image of the Kodak 8 movie light that can be purchased and installed on the top of the camera. So I'm sure this would make the camera probably uh, much more heavy, heavier than it already is. Here is an image showing the inside of the camera with the camera rethreaded. And here are pictures of the various uh, movie projectors and sound projectors that you can buy in order to view and listen to the movies made by this camera. So I hope you enjoyed this look at this very, very large and heavy movie camera from Kodak from about the year 1960 to 1962. And I thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.